When it comes to how to create a blog with Wix, well, you will find yourself in one of two camps. Camp number one, you don't have a Wix website, or camp number two, you do have a Wix website and you just want to integrate the blog functionality. Now, I will be talking to both camps today. We will start with camp one and later we will get to camp two. So if you want to look down below, I will just indicate at which minute I start talking about camp two, those people who currently have Wix websites, so that you can just fast forward there. I'll see you now. But for everyone else, we're going to start from the beginning, step by step, with how to build a Wix website and then how to integrate your blog into Wix as well. So if you are still deciding whether you should use Wix, well I have another video where I've spoken about two other platforms, WordPress as well as Shopify, and I have had blogs on both of those sites in the past. But I have chosen Wix now to host my website on and also to host my blog on. And that is because it is the most affordable option and also when it comes to customizing my website and my blog to what I want. It's one where it's not too complicated. Your technical skills don't have to be so fantastic. And if you don't have a lot of time when it comes to learning about coding and you don't want to hire somebody to build your website for you, then I just think Wix is quick, it's convenient, it's cheap and it's easy to use. So if you already don't have Wix opened up in another browser, you can go down into my description below where you will see my affiliate link you can click on it and it will take you to a different browser and you can simultaneously work on your Wix website watch this video and create your blog on Wix so step one is you just need to sign up and create your account on Wix then at the top right you will see a little button where you can create a site click on it. Wix will ask you some questions related to your niche or to your topic and this will just ultimately help them in suggesting templates for you to pick. Now you can identify whether you want a blog specific website or if you want an online store, there are quite a few options available to you. Go ahead and click the most relevant one. Now is the fun part. There's a whole bunch of templates that you can browse through. You are able to see what they look like on a desktop as well as on a mobile phone. Go ahead and play around a little bit. Find one that inspires you. Find one that fits what you are hoping to talk about. Find one that fits your personality. Or if you're not going to use your own name for your website, find one that suits your business. When you eventually identify a template that you are happy with, we can go straight into editing it. It's really easy to customize your Wix website to just suit the look and feel that you're after. You can add images, you can change the text, You can change the titles on your navigation menu. If you see those dotted lines over there, those dotted lines are referred to as grid lines and they just help you when it comes to formatting your page. So if we look at the left hand side, you'll see that there are a couple of buttons for you to play with. If we click the one at the top, well this is your site menu. From here you can rename the pages that will appear in your navigation menu. You can also optimize them, change the URL, look at how they will be displayed on Google, you can write descriptions to not only help you rank and search, but that also give people a good idea of what your site is all about. In addition to this, what I really like is that you can hide certain pages. So this is quite nice if you don't want a cluttered navigation menu. People have the option to visit certain pages on your website, but you can link them to other pages as well. And this is quite nice. You don't have to display everything on your homepage. Underneath your site menu, you will be able to change the background of your website. You can choose to have a color background and images your background and even a video as your background. It is really easy to upload your own image or your own video, but Wix also has a whole variety of images and videos for you to use free of charge. Now the next button we will be discussing is the add button. This is awesome because you are able to add text, you are able to add images, you are able to add buttons. You are able to add videos. You will even be able to add a blog. Aha, now this is where the two worlds come together. So you can play around and continue creating your homepage and a couple of other pages if you're brand new to Wix. But now we're going to focus on how you are going to add a blog to your Wix website. So this is where you just click on the blog button and then you'll have the opportunity to add a blog. Go ahead and click on the button that says add a blog to your site. The Wix blog manager will take a while to load. That's normal, nothing to be nervous about. Eventually when it does load, you will be provided with a sample blog and blog posts. You can edit these blog posts, you can delete these blog posts, you can even add your own blog posts. I strongly suggest that you go ahead and look at what Wix has provided you with because this just gives you an idea of the type of blogs you can create. 
When it comes to the text, you have the option of the heading, a subheading, and normal paragraph text. You have this little toolbar over here, and this toolbar allows you to add images. You can add video, you can add GIFs. If you need to insert some code, you can do that as well. When you get to the point where you are able to add advertising to your page, you can do that. And if you are hoping to monetize your blog through affiliate marketing, well, you can just hyperlink people to a different page or to a different website. And this is really easy because you can just do this by accessing the toolbar. And this toolbar is available to you as you write, so it's quite nice, it's always there. Then you have access to your blog settings. You can choose a display image for your blog. I like creating these on Canva. It's really easy to just upload them. If you're not the only author contributing to the blogs on your site, then this is where you get to acknowledge other authors and you can just insert their names. And then you can also just give people a little bit of more information of what it is that they will expect when it comes to reading your blog. Depending on the blog template you choose, this text will be made available to people so that they will just have a quick little snippet of what it is that they will be reading more of. Now let's talk about the SEO settings. You are able to change the title of your blog, you are able to add a description, you can really focus on adding your keywords over here so that your blog has the chance of appearing in search. Always spend time choosing a URL that is relevant to the information that you have spent so much time writing in your blog post. Spend time on this part. SEO is really important for your blog and also it's so easy to use so there's nothing to be intimidated about. Then you can also go ahead and create relevant categories. So my website is mainly targeted at entrepreneurs hoping to grow their businesses, but I talk about personal finance as well as marketing and mental health. So to have blog posts relating to all of these categories together, well I do that so that people can have an overarching idea of what it is that I talk about, but I also provide separate categories so that people who come to my website for a specific topic can find it quite easy to navigate to what it is that they're really after. So creating categories for your blogs are really simple. All you do is click on that categories button and then you can add a category and just make sure that you have that circle ticked for the blog post that's supposed to be there. But creating categories for your blog is nothing to be intimidated about either. So there we go. It's that simple to create a website with Wix and to create a blog with Wix. I hope that you find a template that you like and that you customize it to just suit that look and feel that you're really after. So the easy part is creating the website as well as integrating the blog functionality to your website. But where it gets a little bit tricky is creating content <laughs> as well as promoting your blog posts and then driving traffic to your website. And I just want to talk about this briefly because if you want to create a blog, you should go do it, but you need to set yourself up for success. So make sure that you have written eight to 10 blogs before you even start publishing any of them because you might find that after you've created your website and you've laid out the templates and you've integrated the blog functionality, that writing is where it gets a little bit difficult. And you might find that you write one blog post and you publish it and it doesn't get a lot of traffic. That could make you feel a little bit demotivated. And we want you to succeed here. So have eight to 10 blog posts ready that you can publish over a couple of weeks. You decide maybe it's two a week or three a week. You do what you've got time for. But then make sure that you spend a lot of time driving traffic to those blog posts. You want people to find you. You want people to enjoy the content that you've written. So a strategy that I use when it comes to driving traffic to my blog posts, well, I use a combination of platforms to help grow my blog. So I use YouTube, this YouTube video that I am doing right now. If you look in my description, you will find access to a blog that will have the same information that I'm sharing here because let's be honest sometimes you don't want to watch something you actually want to read something and go through something a little bit slower so I always make sure that my YouTube videos fit exactly what it is that my blog gives a little bit more detail on I don't only use YouTube I use reddit as well so if you've never heard of reddit before well, Reddit is an incredible place where people are interested about similar topics and they discuss these topics in smaller forums. Now, I don't think I've done it much justice describing it like that, but pretty much it's a forum for like-minded people where some people ask questions, some people answer questions, some people volunteer valuable information. So I have gone and provided value to some people through answering their questions and I've linked them through my blog if they want to read a little bit more. And surprisingly, a lot of people have gone through to my blog. And in addition, to YouTube and Reddit, I've also used Pinterest. 
So if you've never used Pinterest before, it's a little bit of an intimidating one, at least if it was for me. Pinterest is a search engine where people search for a topic and then they will be given a whole bunch of pins that relate visually to the search term that they entered. So if somebody searches how to create a blog on Wix or creating a blog with Wix, then a whole bunch of my pins will come up. And if you look at my blog post, you'll actually see that I've included visuals and these visuals are my pins that people from Pinterest will click on to drive through to my blog. It's a little bit complicated, but if you play around with it, you get it. And it's been surprising because I've had a few people come from Pinterest to my blog, which again has just increased the traffic to my blog. However, I only created my blog on Wix a week ago. Like I mentioned earlier on, I did use other platforms in the past. So I'm quite curious to see if my strategy is going to continue bringing traffic to my site. Right now it is, but stay tuned for future videos because I will tell you other strategies that I've used to increase the traffic to my blog. But I like using YouTube, I like Reddit, and I, well, I'm figuring Pinterest out, but you can choose to use other social media platforms as well. If you're into Instagram, go there. If you like TikTok, hey, make some other videos. And if you wanna use LinkedIn, for example, you can go there too. But using social media to grow your blog is just phase one. Phase two is backlinking. So, hmm, how to describe backlinking? So what backlinking ultimately is, is other blogs referring back to your blog through hyperlinking a word on their blog that links to a blog post on your blog. I hope that made sense. But ultimately, this is a little bit of a tricky one because you have to email other people and say, hey, would you mind using my link for this word on your blog? Or you might find yourself writing guest posts on other people's websites, or maybe you even write articles for other publications. These three strategies allow people to link back to your site, but you can also create really valuable content that people have to refer back to your site because maybe you provide a statistic or a fact that you have research that you actually can't link back any further than the research that you've done. So with everything in life, I guess, if you provide the best value, people are going to refer back to your content whether you've created a truly valuable YouTube video or a valuable blog post. There's always space for valuable content and people are craving it. There we have it. Not only do you know how to create a website with Wix, you know how to create your first blog post on Wix. You know what you need in order to set yourself up for success. A couple of blog posts in the pipeline, as well as an idea of how you're going to drive traffic to those blog posts. And lastly, if you want to look into backlinking, hey, go for it. Because ultimately, the more links you've got referring back to your site, the more of an authority that Google will think that you are, and then you'll have an opportunity of really appearing in search. But you've got to do a lot of work to make this work for you. So thanks for spending your time with me. Good luck with getting your blog up and running. And if your goal is to monetize your blog, I wish you everything of the best with that. See you in my next video. Bye.